part of the open source model indeed. indeed. Well, now you've talked about a number of advantages of open source. Let's get specific about open source in terms of data integration. <coughs> mm -hmm. What are the advantages of an open source data integration technology? Well, there are several, obviously, but uh, I'd like to point out a few. The first one is the uh, extreme ease of use because our software is used by so many, uh, so many users in the enterprise. I mean, we have over 250,000 downloads, so that's a lot more than what all proprietary vendors together can justify. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it's being thoroughly tested, it's being, uh, it's, it's being validated by many, many users in many types of configurations. We are providing great feedback through the forum, through the bug trackers, etc. So we have extreme usability. Performance is another big advantage mm -hmm. uh, of open source because we don't use a dedicated uh, transformation engine, but we rather generate native code, either Java or Perl, that get distributed across a grid of commodity hardware. We get extreme performance at a very uh, low cost compared to the uh, proprietary vendors. And then the breadth of connectivity. I mean, we were talking about that just a minute ago, but being able to extract data from your open source CRM, as well as from this mainframe that has not been widely adopted, and to combine it with data coming from your flat files, your Excel spreadsheets and whatnot, and then insert it into either a proprietary or an open source database is a big strength that we are bringing to the table. Now, that, wa that was the technical aspect. From the uh, financial aspect, of course, the fact that users can try it at no cost, uh, and then if they choose to adopt it, buy the services they need, gets us into the door very easily and is also a big advantage for our users. The uh, model that we have chosen with complete transparency on the pricing, the fact that there is no additional cost for connecting to so many sources on targets, that there is n no per CPU, per source, per target cost and whatnot, makes it a lot easier for the users, not only for the initial acquisition, but for the ongoing deployment cost. It's not because they are going to uh, deploy additional projects, additional databases, etc., that they're going to have to come back to the, uh, to the table, negotiation table, and to uh, right. take their checkbook Re out. Again. Absolutely. Mm. And then, of course, you know, our pricing model for the, uh, I'm talking here about the subscription, the enterprise version is extremely aggressive to compare to uh, what proprietary vendors charge. Okay. Well, you also have one other advantage that you've touched on, and that is the fact that you've got the open source community contributing mm -hmm. to your product every day. <coughs> that is absolutely true. And out of our 250 connectors, for example, I would say about 40% of those have been contributed by the community, either users, system integrators mm -hmm. who have built them as part of a contract for a client, individual users. Uh, we are, of course, seeing some uh, interesting contribution to our core code, and where the community helps a lot is on the uh, testing of our solutions. When we uh, put out what we call release candidates, what would be called beta versions in mm. the uh, proprietary world, yes. we got several hundred of users who are getting them and hammering on them, running their existing jobs through them. So when we get to the point where we are ready to release a production version, we know that the quality is at the, uh, the maximum level. The best it could be. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, that's excellent. Well, now we talked about a lot of advantages. Let's talk about there must be some disadvantages to the open source model. What, what would they be? Well, the only disadvantages I can see is for the proprietary vendors. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Eve. I do appreciate your time. It, it certainly has been a, a pleasure speaking with you today. So thanks very much. Thank you, Claudia. This is Claudia Imhoff. Thanks again for listening, and goodbye from the Data Warehousing Institute here in Chicago.